All right, so today we are doing the new Dog Conquest map, and I heard there is a lot of great hidden packs, stubs, and more in this. So you're definitely gonna be want to want to follow along, so you guys can get all the hidden rewards into this and learn how to complete the conquest map if you're unsure on what to do. This is your step-by-step -step tutorial on the Dog Conquest map. First step. Check your goals. The reason being is when we get to the extreme conquest, these goals will be much more difficult and you must read them carefully before you do the conquest map. Like goal number one could be capture the Colorado Rockies on the very first turn. And if you don't, you fail the conquest map. You have to do every single goal. In this case, these goals are pretty easy. You don't really need to read too much through them. It's basically just get some fans, conquer those strongholds. Doesn't matter how long it takes you. Doesn't matter how many turns it takes you. It's going to be pretty easy. So acquire 100 million fans. Capture Los Angeles Angels. Capture the White Sox, Blue Jays, Rays. Capture the Boston Red Sox. Capture the Tigers, Cardinals, Mets, and Giants. And then finally, capture all Strongholds. And you get a Season 2 Captain's Choice Pack. And also, if you capture every single territory, you'll get a season two, 99 overall, vault pack, and 10,000 XP. So a lot of XP in this, a lot of packs, and a lot of hidden packs. And you guys will see everything as long as you guys watch this entire video. That's the first step. We check the goals. Now, what we're going to do right here, like I said, if you're not a beginner, you can probably skip some of this. But... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to block the Blue Jays, block the White Sox, block the Cardinals, block the Tigers, block the Giants, and block the Rays from expanding out too much. Because the more territory that we own, the less we have to worry about them. And it just makes life a little bit easier. So we're going to kind of go in a circle. We have 17 to work with. It's not a lot, but we're just going to start blocking off some of these guys so they can't move past us, right? Now, will this probably take a couple turns to do this, but it's a good idea to do it just so you guys can get a feel of what to do. And sometimes it doesn't work out the best that you want it to, but we're blocking off as many and that's as much as we could do. So now when we go to reinforce, we're going to reinforce where we left off at. And this is how I'm going to do it. Now, every conquest map is not going to be the best. Like it's not, it's not. Sometimes they're going to capture some t territories and you just have to work around it. That's why we do videos. So even when I struggle, you see the struggles and you guys can move past them just as I do. Keep reinforcing. As you guys can see, they broke this up. So we probably want to like send some fans in there and retake it over. Or we could keep going the route that we're doing and blocking the Cardinals. Right now, I'm going to go the same route and I'm just going to keep on blocking these other guys and then fill in the gaps. So they took that over. So six, five, we got hit. Our first hidden reward is some 500 stubs. That's pretty good. Just a random hidden reward right there. So now this is where we're like, you know what? I'm getting tired of the Detroit Tigers. So we are getting tired of the Detroit Tigers. What do we do? We attack them. And like I said, turns doesn't matter in this conquest map. It does not matter how many turns it takes. Just get rid of those fans. Don't let them get near your stronghold and worry about the rest of it once you've tackled that one team that you're worried about. So we could fill in the empty space now, which we're going to do so we can reinforce once again. And I'm going to show you guys another thing that you guys can do. So now we have two fans right there and we need to reinforce again. There's no real empty space but i do see some empty space way over here that no one's taken over yet so what am i going to do i'm going to reinforce over here and then we're going to move that one fan one extra fan that we have right there we're going to move them here and then we're going to attack straight across the reason being the more territories that we do have the more reinforcements we can get so if we take over these empty spaces it's going to allow us to reinforce with a lot more territories the next turn and that's why it's crucial to get as many territories out the gate as possible because it's going to make the rest of the conquest map 10 times easier. So now we're going to start filling in gaps. So we have some gaps down here. Now we got 16 fans to start out. 
Let's fill in these gaps right here. We get another hidden reward and 500 stubs. We'll take that. And once we get through the nitty gritty of this, it becomes just playing games and just repeat. Play game, repeat. And that's what it takes. The first part of this is probably the most crucial and like time consuming part is going through all these territories, making sure that we're doing what we need to do to take over the map. As you guys can see, now it's starting to slow down less moves are being made and we're just flying through these territories we lost a lot of fans right there but that's okay we're already working on the detroit tigers so we're going to continue to work on the detroit tigers actually we might go to the giants the reason being i want to might want to go to the giants i want more territories right here so they can't break up the connection that we have because if they break up the connection that's going to break up our reinforcements so we're going to go ahead and reinforce right here real quick and go down towards the Giants just because it's going to give us a little bit more to that connection. So it's going to be a lot harder for them to break it up, if that makes sense. Follow along, and this conquest map will be very, very easy for you, as you, you guys can probably already tell. A lot of me talking, but as you're playing the games, that's probably when I would be either like watching the video, pause the video guys when you guys need to, and just play the games and then watch the video when you guys absolutely have to. I'm not gonna show you the gameplay because the gameplay is obvious. Win the game, that's all you gotta do. And we're only playing, oh, we lost that one. We're only playing the Stronghold. So we're not, we're simming everything besides the Stronghold games. So you should only have to play nine games. So as you guys see, we have a good connection right there. They shouldn't be able to break it up unless they break up this one right here. So we could attack the Rays right now or just keep on getting more territories around here, which that is probably the smarter move. So we're gonna go around the race. So we're gonna reinforce up here. And like I said, we're just gonna make our connection much stronger, a lot harder to break up because the better the connection, the easier this is gonna be. And now, as you guys can see, the giants are moving their way up because they had some fans. So, you know, we're going to lose some territories right there, but that's like another reason I like worried about the connection. And that's why we are doing what we're doing right now. So as they move up, we're moving up on the rays, building the connection up here as they're destroying our connection down there. And that's perfectly fine. We're still getting more territories and we'll go back down there and, uh, you know, take care of them in the next turn if we need to. So now all we have up here is a Tampa Bay Ray stronghold. We could attack it, which is another tip I want to give you guys, which I will give you guys very, very shortly in just about a few seconds. So now let's say I want to attack the Rays. We're not going to attack them on this turn. I just want to show you guys exactly what you guys need to do. Oh my God, I got to play this game on Hall of Fame. No, you don't. You absolutely do not have to play this game on Hall of Fame. And that's why we read the goals, make sure we don't have to complete the, anything by a certain turn, because what we can do is we can skip to steal fans. We can skip to reinforce. We can now reinforce this territory right here, which I'll do it, because like I said, turns don't matter. So I'm gonna, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you guys. And now we skip to attack. And now when we attack, we're on veteran difficulty. I could even repeat the process and do it again and try to get rookie if I want. What do I do? I press start, skip to steal fans, skip to reinforce, and I could reinforce this territory and now we would have 46. I'm not, actually I can do that because I can move my fans. Hey, goal completed. We got a hundred million fans and we got a pack. So now I can move my fans because I'm not going to attack him. But if I did, it might be on rookie. But we're going to move our fans now because these guys want to make a move on us. And I don't like the fact that they're trying to make a move on us down there in San Francisco. So we're going to go move our fans to San Francisco. And that's probably going to be our first territory that we attack. As you guys can see, we have a majority of the middle of the map right now. We don't have any real threats near our stronghold. Besides over there, it looks like the White Sox are close to our stronghold. So next turn, we got to make sure that we clear out the top portion of that because they are too close. They won't attack us with two fans, but they start getting more fans they will attack us and we'll have to defend our stronghold on a higher difficulty. Otherwise we force losing it and we definitely don't want to do that. So, oh, the show online just went down. That sucks. Let's go back to conquest. 
Let's go back to the Dog Conquest map. That was kind of weird, but hey, servers suck. Uh, come to expect it. Skip. And we win that one. So now we can attack the San Francisco Giants on a veteran difficulty, which is exactly what we're going to do. And then we're going to protect the Chicago White Sox. So let's go ahead and attack these guys on veteran difficulty. And I have another tip for you. Yep, we're full of tips in these conquest maps. If you're new to these conquest maps, they're going to help you out. If you're not new to these conquest maps, well, you can probably skip this part. You don't need it. But. When it comes to selecting your starting pitcher, select your number five starting pitcher every single time. And that way you will face their worst starting pitcher in their lineup every single time. So if you don't want to face like a Shohei Otani, if you're facing the Dodgers and stuff, you would, face, you would pick the number five starter every single time and you'll face their number five starter every single time. In this case, I don't even know who it is. But anyways, I will see you guys after the game once we beat them it is hayden birdsong 72 overall we should have no trouble beating these guys we shouldn't i'll see you guys after the game all right so we beat the san francisco giants in our three inning game does it give us a hidden reward for completing the giants let's find out we got a standard pack right there for completing the giants so now after that well you said that we need to reinforce and we need to reinforce our stronghold because we have fans up there or fans near it in the Chicago White Sox. And now we're going to move some fans from down here into this stronghold as well. So now we have a total of 58 fans. And so this is where it gets pretty easy to cover up the map very quickly because now we're going to have a lot of reinforcements every single time, which is going to make this a lot easier to control the map. So what we're going to do in this case, we're just going to get these like three or two fan uh, territories out of our way so they can't keep on expanding. And that's going to make it a lot easier so they can't get close to us again. So especially like the nine fans, six fans, that's what they're using to expand their territories. So we want to try to get those out of the way as fast as possible, even if it risks us losing our fans quicker, because now we can just reinforce and get a lot of those fans back anyways in the next turn. So that's going to make it a lot easier. So let me go ahead. Ooh, another hidden reward and some 500 stubs. So it looks like you're going to get a significant amount of stubs in this conquest map, which is really good. So now we got 14 over here. So now we're going to go back towards our other territories. So now we're going to go up and down and see how close we can get to basically reaching back to our original territories. But as you guys can see, we got in a lot of space by doing this. And we haven't really lost too many fans until we face like the nine fans and the eight fans. Otherwise, we've been pretty been pretty easy winning these. The last one. Can we get the last one one to one? Uh, no, we cannot. So there's that one that we just missed. But that's okay, because now we can attack the White Sox or we can get more territories around like the blue jays we can go after as well get some of those out of the way which i think that's what we're going to do we're going to skip to reinforce the blue jays are probably going to want to expand we got 26 fans here this time which is perfectly fine so now we're going to work our way towards the blue jays and get these bigger numbers out of our way so they can't get any closer because now no one's really going to get towards our stronghold because we have a lot of space they have to go to and they don't have enough fans to get through it. All right, so now you can see there's a bunch of fans up here and there's a lot of them. They have a lot of fans in those. So we want to make sure they cannot start going down. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna get rid of them. Like we're gonna skip to attack and we're gonna attack that eight fan right away. We don't want them to expand and get more territories. They're going to attack us. They they lost to us, but not by much. We still only... We, we got seven fans in there now. They took a lot of our fans right there, but that's okay. Like we, like I said, we could just keep on going to the next turn. We're not time limited here, not turn limited. They got a fan right there or so. So now what we do, we just reinforce again. We took care of them. They only got to expand one slot and that's okay. One slot's better than like six or seven slots. So now we just attack them again and again and just make sure they cannot expand. So they're going to attack us. What I really want to do is I want to get over to those 10 fan ones. 
And that's exactly what I'm going to try to do right now, just to take some of those out of the picture early and don't have to worry about them later. So now we only have 10 fans and we're still going to attack the 10 fans and hopefully win. Well, we lost, but we took all their fans. So that was the goal. We took all of their fans. So now we go back down here. We'll reinforce down here. Now we could attack the Rays if we wanted to, but we're not going to attack the Rays just yet. We're going to see if we can find some more hidden rewards as well. I don't think we'll find much right here anyways. But if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. And you guys can skip through this. But we're just going to get the Blue Jays basically all filled up besides their stronghold. And we got a hidden reward. A headliners. Headliners pack right there. Just above. the Well, all the way above the Rays. In the corner right there. But well, it looks like the dog's like back right after the neck. And we get 10 fans. So we have 10 fans left over. So now this is when we would attack our next victim in, in this case. It would probably be the Rays, honestly. Rays would probably be next because they're like right there. And then we can move on after there. So let's go ahead. We got the Rays. 31 fans right there. Move these 10 fans down here. And let's go ahead and beat the Rays. So we're going to attack the Rays. Veteran difficulty. Obviously, select your number five pitcher. Just like we said earlier in the video. So you can face their worst pitcher. And I'll see you guys after the game. All right. So we've beaten the Tampa Bay Rays. Our second stronghold has been conquered. Let's see what we get from that. We got a hidden reward in Barrier breakers i don't even have all these cards so we get to choose one barrier breaker card for our squad we love to see it and let's go ahead and get all these empty territories just fill in the board you guys don't really need to see me do this so we will just fill up the board and i'll get back to you in just a second we did get a hidden reward discovered in the top left hand portion so we got that going on for us shortly. We also got another hidden reward. Headliners pack 22 of 35. Guaranteed one player. All right, it took us a few turns, but we are ready to attack the Boston Red Sox. It'll be on veteran difficulty. And we will see you guys after the game. All right, so we beat the Boston Red Sox stronghold. And we get... A goal completed, a ballin is a habit pack, and a Nike City Connect. We get to choose four items from that. Don't know if they're sellable or not, but definitely four items from that. It's definitely going to help us out. And now we can wait for the rest of this simulation so we can move on to our next game, which is probably going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. So let's go ahead. Willie will reinforce right here. Now we're going to have a lot of fans, so we're going to go ahead and grab these fans from Boston and bring them over to our other territory. And now we have 89 fans to attack with, meaning most of our games will probably be able to be on rookie now, making it even easier for us to beat these strongholds. So we're going to go ahead and attack the Toronto Blue Jays, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we have beaten the Toronto Blue Jays. And now we're moving on. See what else we get right here. We get a hidden reward, a legend. Choose one player. We take that. Definitely some juiced hidden rewards in this one. So definitely going to be worth it. We got one more territory to get right here. So we'll go ahead and grab that real quick. And then we'll be moving on probably to the Tigers or St. Louis. It's kind of getting close to our stronghold. So we probably should go after them a little bit. I'm actually going to reinforce here. We'll go down there and then we'll move these 79 fans over here. Now we're working out like two different spots at once, which will definitely help us out a little bit. And we're just going to like get these fans and like kind of like go towards St. Louis, but then use the other fans to go towards the Tigers. And that way we just get some more territories and then get the St. Louis Cardinals kind of out of our way and hopefully get some of their fans down here a little bit lower. Hopefully win one or two of these. There's one down. Let's see if we can win the next one. And we should be able to win it barely. 
So then the very next one, we're probably going to lose, but that is okay. We did lose. So now we're going to go ahead and attack with our 79 fans. And we're going to take these guys out real quick. And then we should be able to face the Detroit Tigers next, which is probably going to be the ultimate goal. There's seven fans right there, so we definitely want to make sure we get those out of the way first. The two fans I'm not too worried about. And now we're going to face the Detroit Tigers, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so now we have beaten the Detroit Tigers. So we are just, I believe, three games away. We also got Will Wagner, so we've done some of the other programs as well. And we are close to a wheel spin. We also got a hidden reward, uniforms and icons, triple A. We'll take that. And we are just, oh, four games away from beating this conquest. So let's go ahead and reinforce. And now we are probably going to go towards St. Louis. And I think I'm going to start up here by the White Sox. So we're going to go ahead and reinforce right here. And then we're gonna move our fans from there all the way over here. And we might not attack right now, but we're gonna get down to St. Louis basically is our goal here. So let's go ahead and fill up all these empty territories, not empty, but let's go ahead and take over all these territories. And once we get to the stronghold, we will continue. All right, let's go ahead and face the St. Louis Cardinals right here on Veteran Difficulty. And I'll see you guys after the game. All right, we beat the St. Louis Cardinals. We have three more games to play. And we also got another hidden reward, another double A uniforms and icons for beating the St. Louis Cardinals. And now we're going to go and face the Chicago white socks are up next so let's go ahead and move our fans from our st louis stronghold over to our chicago white Sox, and we're going to go ahead and face the chicago white Sox. i will see you guys after the game all right so we have beaten the chicago white Sox. that's leaving us two strongholds remaining until this conquest is complete we also got 20,000 XP. We complete another goal, headliners, and 2,500 XP, and a classic stadium hidden reward. So let's go ahead and capture every territory around us, leading on to the next stronghold that we must take over. Another hidden reward that we just got was a standard pack right there at the 71. So we're going to reinforce with 47 right here, and then we're just going to protect our stronghold a little bit up here. Put 10 more up here and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and we will attack right here and we'll be ready to face the Mets in our next stronghold game. And now we'll go ahead and attack these guys and see if we can get these fans. We're gonna go ahead and reinforce one more time so we can play on our lower difficulty. And we're gonna go ahead and play the New York Mets and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we've beaten the New York Mets, and we have one stronghold remaining in this conquest map. We got some parallel levels, and we also got a nice will spin. So we'll go ahead and open that right now and see what we can get. Hopefully something good. Hopefully gold or diamond. Please give us a gold or a diamond. We get a headliner pack. I mean, we'll take it. Not the best thing in the world, but we're almost going to get to that pack opening at the end of the video as well. As we do complete another goal, which gives us 2,500 XP and a hidden reward under the Mets is a ballin' is a habit pack. And we have just a few uh, territories to go over, some straggler territories out there. But we're going to go ahead and probably take care of some of those right now because we can actually put some over here just to make sure that we get that. And then we could also put like probably like 10 fans right here just to make sure we get that territory. And then up here, we can just go ahead and put the rest of our reinforcements there and then move everything that's down here all the way up here. And we should be able to get through this fairly easy. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of the territories until we get to the angels for our last stronghold of the video. Another hidden reward, 500 stubs below the 84. 
All right, we reinforced one last time. Let's go ahead and attack the Angels, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, we have beaten the Angels, and we have done it. We have finished the Conquest map, so let's go ahead and get our rewards and open up those packs. We also get a home stretch pack number six. So let's go ahead. Congratulations. We have conquered the dog conquest map, which is going to give us five standards, three ballins, two millionaire packs, four headliners, a headliner pack, classic stadium, Nike City Connect, legend, barrier breaker, uniforms, captains, home stretch, and a vault pack. And first pack, we get a gold. If you get any like cool diamonds, I'll show you guys out of the standard packs, but I really don't expect much out of these standard packs. So we'll see what happens. First millionaire pack, and we get a another standard pack. We'll take it, you know, it is what it is. And silver. Next millionaire pack, another standard pack. No diamond from that, but we do get a gold. First headliner pack. We'll see what we get from these headliner packs. Let's go ahead and open up these. All right, pack number 22. No diamond. All right, no diamonds from those, but now we get a guaranteed headliner, and it is going to be a green. So that's not terrible but obviously not the greatest. A 95 Jeremy Pena will definitely take that. New card for us. Classic Stadium. Probably just pick the most expensive. We'll go with Forbes Field. A Nike City Connect. A lot of these we don't have. Let's just take Seattle and just take some new stuff that we do not have, and that will be good to go. We get a Legend player so we got matt kane santana a lot of these are a lot cheaper now uh so one i would probably want maybe santana at the start of the new season or matt kane i don't know actually let's go richie let's go richie we don't have richie we also get a another barrier breaker so this one right here a good one i think out the gate would probably be satchel page so i think that's where i'm gonna go i'm gonna go satchel page and then we get some uniforms. We'll take those real quick. Take the new ones, obviously. One more uniform pack, which will be this one right here. And then finally, we get into the season two captains. Now we do have all of them besides Justin Verlander. So we might as well just go ahead and get ourselves Justin Verlander. Now we get a pack number six home stretch. And we get a 99 overall base round. So that kind of sucks. We can take Rod Carew, 26K, 25, 29K. We'll take that one right there, 29,000. Can we sell it? I don't know. We can since we already have it, so we'll definitely sell it. And Season 2 Vault, guaranteed 99 overall. What do we get from this? All right, we got Billy Wagner, Hunter Green, or Walker Jenkins. Definitely some cards I actually wanted to try. So 51K, 62K and or 33 choice right here would probably be Billy Wagner. I might even sell him for now. So 62,000, we're gonna go ahead and take 61,900 for him. And that is the end of the video. Be sure you guys like, leave a comment down below what you guys got from your packs. If you guys got anything good, hopefully this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on the next video. Extreme Conquest is coming out soon once it releases, obviously, and the new Team Affinity Grind will be coming out as well. So if you guys are interested in those videos, be sure you guys have those notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next one.